what it is what's up you guys So today we have a really exciting video. I'm going to do a closet clean out. So I'm going to try to just clean out my closet for all the stuff that I don't need or don't wear. And it's very special because I am having another pop-up event. Ah! So if you guys are interested in shopping from my closet clean out, I will be selling at my pop-up event. So you guys can shop my closet and I will have like other fun goodies and stuff there. Okay, baby. So since filming, I do have more details on the pop-up shop that I can share with you guys so you guys could start putting it on your calendar so y'all could come and pull up so it's going to be February 18th 2023 between 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. at the store called Rogue it's the same place I had my pop-up shop last time and it's a super cool store there's other stuff there that you guys could shop it's super like Y2K vintage very curated they have like the best stuff there and it's just like an amazing vibe like everyone there is always super chill you'll meet like the coolest people there ever so you guys can stop by anytime pop out with your outfits, you know looking cute We could take pics together. We could hang out There's gonna be free hot chocolate because it is in February So it might be a little cold a little chilly out and we're gonna have good music You know, I'm gonna play my throwbacks playlist for y'all mark it down on your calendars February 18th And you guys could follow me on Instagram So I will keep posting updates on my Instagram as the day gets closer So you guys could stay posted and I will keep reminding y'all in case y'all forget Okay, because I want all my bad bitches to pop out all my y2k baddies because you already know the vibes It's gonna be super fun though. So, yeah now. Let's get back into the video So that's why we're doing a major major closet clean out well that and because I just have way too much stuff like look at my girl Look at my clothes rack like come on <laughs> like nothing fits in there anymore like when i tell you i've been watching hoarders lately I, this is gonna be a long intro but i've been watching hoarders lately and i'm like girl am i a hoarder because like i have so much stuff and like i don't even have space for all the shit that i have like i want to show you guys because it's really like a mess so this is the clothes rack like it's just like packed the fuck out it's just like a mess <sighs> and like it pisses me off because i hate when my room's a mess like my jewelry my sunglasses like why is there a burlington receipt in here i cannot live like this look at all my jewelry why is there a shoelace here like be serious like we need to get it together i just have shoe boxes everywhere bags everywhere like a lot of stuff just doesn't have a spot these boxes just like full of stuff for like pr and promo and stuff like that like that i could get rid of or like that i don't need anymore my shelf is a mess like why do i have socks on here like i've just been living crazy my drawers ugh, oh my god i want to clean these so bad like there's no organization here at all my jeans like this drawer doesn't even open like can this jacket move like please girl this shit doesn't even open honestly my closet is literally a mess also Anything else fits in here like look at the shoes it's just a mess like all the shoe boxes i definitely want to get rid of some of these hoodies so i do have this box this big ass box hopefully i can fill it up hopefully i can get rid of more but at least this box i want to fill up by today i feel like i should start with like the clothes rack guys this hood how cute it just like goes over your head like this and it keeps you warm and toasty like okay this was kind of an impulse buy but it's cute <laughs> Yay, we have our first thing that we're getting rid of. Ooh, yay! Did I miss? I literally missed. I literally never wear this. So I feel like this can go. Is she gonna make it? Ooh, girl, what the hell? I have so much stuff that's literally brand new with tags. I need to wait for the weather to be right to wear this. This too. I feel like this is such a cute fall piece. And I didn't get to wear it. So now I have to wait until next fall. I never got to wear this dress like it's really cute it has like cutouts in it and stuff but like where am I really wearing this to I'm gonna hold on to it for like a special occasion maybe like a birthday or something this I don't like how this corset fits me so I don't know I don't like either of these that much I feel like this is cute though like realistically I feel like I'm probably never gonna wear it so I feel like I'm gonna like go with both these <laughs> I have so many dresses these are all dresses on here
guys i love this jacket so much but look at the back Ooh. it's all like fucked up because it's not real leather it's from the brand bb which i love their brand it's just like ugh, if this was real leather i would love it so much like it's a really cute like fitted like moto jacket i'll keep it for now hmm. There's certain pieces that like I literally never wear but I cannot get rid of like I love this Ed Hardy dress like I cannot get rid of it and I have this like baby fat like jumpsuit I love this dress so I'm never getting rid of this one besides clothes I do keep like shoes on here and some like bags and stuff this bag I love it I got it on Depop it's so cute it looks like Elmo so I call this my Elmo bag I keep like some like belts back here, but I really don't wear them. I feel like I'm probably gonna let these go. They're like these really cool braided belts. They're such like Y2K vibes, but I'm like, I just never wear them. So it's like, what's the point, you know? I feel like I'm doing good. I keep a whole bunch of bags just on the side here. They're literally all on one hook. So this is cute, I'll keep it. This I've never worn, this Hello Kitty bag. So I think I'm going to let her go. This I still use. This is such a bad knockoff that I got out of thrift so she could go because i never use this one either guys side note but i have a date tonight i'm so excited this i'm keeping this bag i got in columbia so of course we're keeping her this one i never wear this one either someone sent it to me i wore it probably once and never again but it's so cool like look at the chain that it comes with that's so cool. Honestly, I should keep it. I like it. These are just like head scarves that I wrap like my hair in. I have more bags down here. This one I just got, so duh, I'm keeping. I use this for school sometimes. She's kind of beat up. I don't know. I'll keep it for now. Coach bag. I use this one a lot. Um, this bag, um, I don't care for it. This is like also a knockoff, like Chanel bag. So I might let her go also. Oh, I just have my Hello Kitty shower cap here. But this coach bag, bro, this bag weighs like 10 pounds. Let's go through the hats and see if we can declutter any. This little crocheted like bucket hat. So cute. I'm keeping her duh. This. I like camo. Camo could stay. This one I wear sometimes. This I'm keeping because it's pink. Von Dutch. And this is just like a random hat that says like Florida. I don't know. Should we keep the Von Dutch? It is cute. Okay, I'm keeping it. <laughs> Cowboy hat, duh, we're keeping. Bathing ape, keep. Bathing ape, ah, keep. This Von Dutch, I feel like I don't need it. It's just black, it's just plain. I don't think I need this. I'll, I'll let her go. This Von Dutch, I bought in LA, so it's kind of sentimental. But do I wear it though? I don't wear it. It will look cute with this hair though. Okay, maybe I'll wear it today. <laughs> this one I'm keeping. I feel like this one's so fire. I love this one. It has like rhinestones on it and stuff. Okay, that's literally all my hats. Per. Oh my god, look at my hair. A pia. I have bathing suits. I do have some cute bathing suits that I don't wear or that don't fit me. So you know what? Let's go sit on the floor. Cause girl, I got nowhere to put y'all. Here we are. We're on the floor. My bathing suits I put all in this box. Oh my god, it's heavy. <laughs> This I haven't worn yet, so I want to keep it. This I wear sometimes. Oh my god, this one I love. The little anime girl top. How cute. This one I got from Calm Queen on Instagram. I get a lot of questions on that. Little Dior bikini. Fake, obviously. I feel like I always have to say when I have dupes. Because I don't want you guys to think I'm like some spoiled like rich bitch. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll keep it. Oh my god, I want to keep everything now. Oh, I didn't even wear this one. I bought this one for Columbia, I think. And I didn't even wear it. Okay, this one I could get rid of. Because this one's really old. And like I'm not gonna sell it. I'm just gonna like probably throw it out. Okay, so we got rid of a few. These are the rest that I'm keeping. Loki still a lot, but I actually do wear them, especially you know you go on vacation, you need to bring a few, you need to bring some variety, you know. Okay guys, so Loki thought I got rid of more Cause out of all this shit Out of all this stuff This is all I'm getting rid of I think I'm just gonna put everything back on the clothes rack that I am keeping And then we will continue this tomorrow It's getting pretty dark outside And I do have to get ready for my date Cause he will be here in an hour
Okay, babies, real quick, I interrupt this vlog to bring you a word from our sponsor, who is Care Of. I've worked with them in the past. I love them so much. And if you don't know what Care Of is, they are a subscription service that brings you high-quality vitamins, supplements, and powders to your door every single month. But you don't have to think about it, because I know when I first got into, like, taking vitamins and supplements, like, girl, I was just like, I don't even know what to get. I don't know where to start. And me, personally, I'm lazy. So, like, research... I'm good. So <laughs> that's why Care of makes it so easy because they have a quiz that asks you questions about your diet, your lifestyle, and your health goals. And then they'll recommend you some vitamins and supplements for your personal health goals and needs. So based on the way I answered my questions, they recommended me a few things. So here is the daily vitamin pack that I will show you guys once you take it out. It's super cute because it has your name on it. So it's super personalized to you. But once I open it up, these are the two little vitamins that they recommended to me. So the first one is iron and they recommended iron because I'm not a big meat eater at all. So I wanted to have like higher energy levels. Like I just feel like I was so tired and sluggish all the time. So I feel like iron was a good recommendation. And then secondly was, let me see if I can pronounce this, rhodiola for stress and mood because girl I be stressed and I be in a funky mood when I'm stressed so I feel like that has helped me tremendously and the last two things that they recommended to me are pocket protector and gut check so they're just these little like quick sticks they call them and they have like powder in them so I'll show you guys how I take them I am not strong <laughs> but okay so you just open like this this one is for on-the-go probiotics for immunity and when I tell you I love having these on me at all times you just tear them open and like you pour it in your mouth and then you swallow it so i've actually been getting into the routine of taking these every single day i keep them right by my door so i don't forget like when i'm heading out the door i could just grab one and throw it in my bag real quick so i don't forget and what i love about these is the care of personalized packs are actually made from a plant-based film so that makes them compostable i've been using care of for months now so i know they're the real deal they're made from good for you clean ingredients that are backed by the latest science and research so y'all can feel good about what you're putting in your body so if you guys want to get on the vitamins wave go to care of take the care of quiz and see what vitamins and supplements they recommend for you you guys can click the link below and use my code stephanie 50 for 50 percent off your first order with care of so once again shout out to care of for sponsoring this video and now let's get back into the vlog okay baby so day two of decluttering my room i just took a shower and like i washed my hair and everything so it's still like kind of wet but i was in the mood to organize i want to do the closet today okay so i want to get into like my bags and stuff this bag i literally never wear so she could go in the box i don't wear this one ever these i like i love these these i actually wear like a lot this bag i love this bag i've never worn it's not really my style like the colors on it it's an img a bag so i feel like this one could go this one i'm keeping i wear this bag so much these two could stay oh my god bless me i wear both of these i don't wear this one that much but i don't want to get rid of it it's a rock wear bag and it's so cute so she's staying this bag i wear this girl sometimes but she's iconic so she's staying i thrifted this bag i think it's a fake product bag but girl this bag one of my faves it's a juicy couture bag this one is a recent addition love her gucci staying coach keeping and prada keeping as well i can't reach it <laughs> This bag, I love her so much, but like realistically, I never wear her. Maybe one of you guys would appreciate it more. I feel bad because one of my subscribers sent this to me. So I really like it and it's really sentimental to me, but I just don't wear it. These bags, I wear all the time. Burberry, Louis V, and I put the little like Hello Kitty charm on it. This one, I do really like also. That one up there, I put it up there because I never wear it. So I feel like she could go. How can I grab this shit? <coughs> Yay! It's a Von Dutch bag. It's really cute. It's fluffy. It's a little bowling bag. Like, I just don't wear it. I've had this since I lived at my mom's house, and I just never wear it. So I feel like I can get rid of it, and I won't miss it. Ah! Pain. It's, like, jam-packed in here. I can't even... Ugh! 
can't even take this shit out. Let's go through one by one to see if I feel an emotional connection. This I love, Ed Hardy. Okay, she's staying. I have this pink leather jacket. It's still cute. I think I'll keep it for now. I don't want to get rid of it yet. This I've only worn once. It's like a tracksuit, so I don't need this. This little vest, I don't know. I feel like I want to keep it. I thrifted it. It's originally from Old Navy, I believe. Yeah, it's Old Navy, so I feel like I want to keep it, make some like cute outfits out of it. This, I feel like it doesn't fit me that good. But I am emotionally attached to it. So I'll hold on to it for now. I think I want to tie my hair up. It's bothering me. I'm such a messy bun girl. I love a good messy bun. Focus, I'm getting distracted. Babe hoodie, I really don't wear it, but I feel a type of way getting rid of it. This was like my first like expensive piece that I bought like when I was really into streetwear. So I feel a type of way getting rid of it. This Ed Hardy, I don't wear this, but I like the color. I like the like slime green color. I think I'll keep it. Ah, I don't know, keep or give away, I don't know. <sighs> This little jacket, I don't like how it fits me, so I feel like I could sell this. It doesn't fit me that good, it's like too big. This set has like the matching pants or whatever. I literally wear this all the time. Like I just wear this like to run errands and like I wear it around the house. I wear it to school, so I'm keeping it. Another set by the same brand, it's called Named Collective. Some lovely ladies on it and it's rhinestones, so I'm gonna keep it. This New York hoodie, I got it at a souvenir shop and I don't know why I think it's so fire. And I actually do wear it a lot. Another set of the matching pants. I love this one. I do wear it a lot. Yay. Little bomber jacket comes in handy. This little leather jacket, I really like it. I think it fits me really nice. I have this big ass Echo Limited hoodie and I really, really liked it. I thrifted it, but now I feel like I'm kind of over it. It's just way too big. Like, do you see how like huge it is? I don't know. Should I get rid of it or should I keep it? It's so hard for me to let things go. Oh my goodness, am I a hoarder? Okay, I'll keep this set because I like this set a lot. I think this I will sell. Ah! I'll sell it at my pop-up so one of you guys can pop this for yourselves. Oh, my heart. Oh my god, I hate getting rid of stuff. The black leather jacket once again comes in handy. I wear this when I want to like, I don't know, look sophisticated or something. Like I wear this on dates and stuff though. She's saying another set. Matching pants. Once again by Named Collective. I love their stuff. Like their stuff is such good quality. Oh, this dusty ass North Face jacket. She got to go. She could go right now. Bye. I got a problem with this piece because she's so fire but she's so worn out girl like it's so faded like this is supposed to be black and it's looking gray like look at my jacket compared to this like it's really cute it has a lot of rhinestones and stuff so it looks like whoever had it before like really loved it it's like kind of ripped right here also so i think i'm gonna let this girl go because i really just don't wear it anymore it was cute for the moment though i really have like an ed hardy era like i was just obsessed with ed hardy i mean i still love ed hardy it's still one of my favorite throwback brands but i was just like obsessed i love this north face puffer it's like kind of like a cropped i like it so she could say this jacket i feel like i could serve a look in this like for the winter you know it's kind of like a longer like trench coat oh my god oh my god girl tell me why all right i got two problems first of all this has a pen mark on it you don't see it it's like a little pen mark right here what the fuck i don't know because i like this little puffer jacket i don't want to get rid of her I think I'll keep it. Fuck it if I have the pen mark. Oh well. And this jacket, I'm so sad because I got my freaking makeup all over it. Like, huh, this lighting is fucking me up right now. Like, do you guys see the makeup stains on it? Like, that looks nasty. I don't know because I love this little jacket. It's fluffy. Okay, I'm gonna keep it. Last but not least, these two jackets. I love them both. So they're both stained. And that's everything that I had in the closet. So we do the shoes. Yeah, I think we should do the shoes now. We're gonna try to get rid of some shit and just like organize it a lot better because. So this will keep because I cannot seem to get rid of these. I have these, the Billy Eyelash collab with Nike, but realistically, I don't think I'm gonna wear them. I think I can let those go. These all black fours. I get so much wear out of these. Oh, so this. I don't wear dumps. These could go. Wait, actually, because <laughs> like I do, I, I do sometimes wear these in the summertime. Like they're really comfortable. Oh my god, guys, keep or get rid of. Comment down below if I should keep these or not. I'll do whatever you guys tell me to do. Babe Stuz. These are my babies. I'm gonna keep these forever. I really like the colorway on these. It reminds me of Babe Stuz a lot. So keeping. Oh, these babies. I've gotten. <laughs> these have been my trusty dusties for so long. I've worn these. So much and I still wear them to this day. I got these from Naked Wolf. They're these like really big ass like platforms. I don't really like how they look on me. I feel like they just they're just not that flattering on me to make my legs look really skinny. 
So I think I'm gonna let these go. Yay, we're already making space. Oh, my Chanel trainers. I'm keeping. They need to get clean though. I got these pretty recently. I like them. They're like a wedge sneaker. They're really cool. They kind of look like futuristic. Girl, I never wear these, but I have an emotional attachment to them, so I can't get rid of them. My boxes. Oh my god, girl, these are so dirty. I'm gonna still keep them though. I like them. Bro, I need to get rid of these boxes. Like, be cool. I love these. I get a lot of wear out of these. Little Chanel sandals. They're super cute. So adorable. Like, look, the pastel colors and everything. But they're so freaking uncomfortable. Like, one thing about me, y'all, I hate being uncomfortable. I don't like when my feet hurt. That's why when I wear heels, bitch, I be having Crocs in my bag. Because I can't. These heels, I'm so sad. I wore these recently on a date. And why did they just fall apart in the middle of my date? Like, bro. Uh, on both of them at the same time they're so cute like look what a look i don't know if i should just like glue them back together i'm gonna keep them for now Yo, my bun looks so stupid i'm gonna regret that later i'm gonna edit this video and be like ew why did i do my hair like that bro more of these little sandals that i'm not gonna wear so these could go i don't know why i keep buying sandals i don't wear them and i don't know why my nose is so itchy Eh. Oh, my stripper heels. Oh my god, I haven't seen these in forever. I love these. Yes, keep. Travis Scott. I like these still. I'll keep them. I wore these to a party like last summer and look how trash they are. So, I think I'm gonna get rid of them. <laughs> Bro, I ain't shit at all, but I hate cleaning sneakers. Like, I'm so lazy. Oh, Jesus. I have more bags in here. This bag is getting a fake. I have way too much fake shit. You guys are gonna think I'm just like a fake ass bitch. I think I'm gonna let this shit go because I got this for school but I never wear it so she could go. I have this tote bag and it's so cute. It's like fuzzy and camel but I've never worn it and I bought it like when I first moved here. It's so like almost two years ago so oh, she could go. These two tote bags I do wear sometimes to school so I'm gonna keep those. These little booties. I wear these sometimes for like a chunky like comfortable shoe when I go on date. Oh my god not the Air Force ones. I think I'm gonna get rid of these but I, I don't wear these anymore these got to go oh my god we're getting rid of so much stuff guys silver jordan ones the gray ones i'll keep them for now i might get rid of them later oh, i forgot i had these oh i'm screaming i have these louis v the pink sneakers they're so cute they're like baby pink these boots i bought them forever ago once again never worn them i don't know why i'm like this but i bought them because i was like oh they're pink and they're cute and like i still think they're cute it's just i don't wear them so it's like if i'm not gonna wear them what's the point i'm gonna get rid of these i've got proud of myself i got rid of a lot of stuff Okay, baby, so here's the finished closet, and it looks so much better. Like, look at the shoes, girl. It looks so organized. I feel like I didn't get rid of that much stuff, but it's like, it just looks so much, like, more organized. Like, look at it. It looks like a, a like, filing cabinet. Like, it's so cute. It's kind of dark in my room now, but I want to keep decluttering. So, we are in this section of my room now. All the little drawers are kind of broken, but it's okay. She just a little ugly is all. I have like tracksuits in here. Okay, I have this red tracksuit I never wear, so I'm gonna let her go. And then I have this like cream colored one too. I might keep it for now because I'm going to a cabin in February. So maybe I'll wear like a little tracksuit. Oh my god, I forgot I had this. Okay, this is from Forever 21. Like how cute. I love the pants. It says baby fat on the back and they're fuzzy and they're so cute. Okay, maybe I'll wear this at the cabin too. I have these juicy track pants and they don't fit me anymore they're way too big so i have to let these go i got this track suit from img and like it just doesn't fit me well like it's too big on me we're gonna let her go so okay babies day three going on of decluttering my room i'm gonna try to get most of it done today i think i can finish it today i don't know i did kind of start late i woke up kind of late today not gonna lie let's focus let me get to work
Okay, so the shelf is clean. Now I want to declutter this where I keep all like my accessories and stuff. So I have like hats, gloves, earmuffs, and things like that. Okay, so I have these two different Hello Kitty earmuffs. I kind of want to keep both of them. They both were kind of different. Like, this one has, like, the pink band. And this one just, like, white and fluffy. Like, I feel like it's dumb if I keep both of them, right? I don't know. They're both cute. You know what? I'm keeping both of them for now. <laughs> this I never wear. So this I could give away. I got rid of like few things. I like all my hats. I want to keep that. Next, I want to declutter this drawer. It's been freaking broken because I built it myself and I did that shit wrong. So it's been broken ever since. I have so much extra space now. I'll figure out what I want to put in here. Yay, it's so organized now. Okay, so I really, really want to clean out this corner because it just bugs me. Like, it's too much stuff here. You know when you don't know what to do with something, you just like throw it to the side. That's what this corner is for, and I can't stand it. Guys, look how empty my shelf is now. I don't know what to do with like all this extra space that I have now, but like I'll figure something out. Okay, baby, so we're almost done with this closet clean out. I know it's been taking forever, but two things. I did my hair. I know you guys always ask me where I get these from. It's from Amazon. Nails are literally on the outs right now. Like, look at this. Eh! This one broke off when I was drunk. Yeah, I'm trying to get these acrylics off. So if they look crazy, don't mind me. As you can see, all these boxes are things that I'm getting rid of or selling at my pop-up shop. Hopefully, we could get rid of a bunch of more stuff out of my drawers. So here's my drawers. This bed is from Ikea. People always ask me where I get it from. It was supposed to be ugh, like my jeans. It kind of just has a little bit of everything now just because I, st I just stuff things in and just like close it. And then I regret it later. Ugh. Oh my god, bitch. It fucking broke. <laughs> no. Oh shit. Oh my god, because it's way too heavy. There's just too much shit in here. Well, I'm gonna try to declutter it as much as I can. This shit sucks. <laughs> nah, please. Please. I am getting rid of only two pairs of jeans, so I think I'm gonna let these go. They don't fit me the best, but they're super cute because they have these like this rhinestone skull and crossbones on the side. So I'm going to put these in the for sale pile, and then I'm getting rid of these also. I don't know. I just don't like the color of them. Like they're really blue. I don't know. I don't really wear them. tried to organize it somehow i do have like blue jeans my like kind of stretchier like soft fabric pants black and gray jeans these are like my cargoes blue jeans and then kind of like the light wash blue jeans like dark wash light wash Ugh. i'm so sad this is broken whatever this drawer is my favorite drawer it's a mess but it has all like my crop tops my mini skirts my two-piece sets my baby tees are in here it should be fun
Okay, so we're all organized now and I ended up getting rid of just these few things. So this pile of clothes I'm going to be putting in the shop. These are like baby tees and tanks. So I put them right in the front because this is like what I gravitate towards. Like girl, you can always catch me in a baby tee. Here is shorts and mini skirts. Here I just have jumpsuits in the back. I don't know if you guys could see, but I have like my corset tops. I do have like matching sets. In this back corner, I have my longer skirt which I don't usually wear too often so I put them in the back yay these two are just kind of boring I'm not really gonna like bother going through that so I think we're done Ew, my nose looks so bad this is all the stuff that I'm going to have for sale at my pop-up shop let's go on a little tour of my new clean and decluttered room so clothes back she's looking good she's looking organized she's looking neat the closet Okay, I can't open it all the way because the boxes are in the way. But I'm super happy with like the purse wall, how that came out, and shoes. Everything is super neat and organized. And now it closes with no problem. This area was killing me because this is always a mess with all my jewelry and stuff. So now it's nice and organized and looking pretty. Desk area, she's looking cute, she's looking organized. My drawers, I'm not going to open this one because look at it. <laughs> is broken so we're just gonna let her rock for now but at least this one is nice and organized and also my shelf this bitch is super empty now but at least it's clear and decluttered i don't know we'll figure something out for the shelf because i don't like how naked it looks it looks very empty thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe i love you guys so much and i will catch you guys in the next one